couple of days ago, I didn't have money to buy my allergy pills. And I laid back and, uh, you know, uh, the moisture in your throat uh, goes down the wrong windpipe and my throat closed. And it was a struggle to get breath. It seemed like it took forever. That, you know, I might die. So, you know, that's another reason why I'm being honest with people. I'm telling them the truth, whether they like it or not. Because people don't grow unless they face the things they've done wrong. And they don't grow in God if they say they're sorry, but then turn around and do the same thing again. That's not being sorry. That's being a phony. If anything, it's lying to yourself because you're not lying to God. You know, others may say, hey, uh, that's what you got to do. Say you're sorry. No. You have to mean it. Because God is no fool. You can be a fool in thinking he will forgive when you just turn around and do the same thing. No. I don't think God would forgive. God only forgives us if we truly, truly mean it. If we do our best not to do it again. You know, I tried to live a good life. I'm not perfect. No one is. But I don't purposely hurt other people. I am not selfish. Uh, I try to be kind. And I do try to think of other people. Even those that don't think of me. You know, that's a reason why I'm making this video. So maybe they can hear it. Maybe they can understand and quit lying to themselves. You know, uh, people who have listened to my other videos know the kind of life I've had. It's not really a life. I'm just surviving, living. Not living, but surviving. Because you don't live your life when others think they have a right to take it away from you. You know, I don't have medical care because others have taken that away from me. Because my union is supposed to be paying for my medical care. But they're not. You know, uh, 1199 SEIU pays for the medical care because uh, the workers earned it. The union doesn't give the workers anything for free. We've earned it. So where is my health care? Why haven't I gotten it all these years? Last year I didn't see a doctor because I'm just on Medicare. And I'm only making under $17,000. So, where's my Medicare? You know, uh, why can't I get on Obamacare, I mean, uh, an affordable health care plan? I can't believe in Washington State that it's under $14,000. That's ridiculous. 
you can't survive under fourteen thousand dollars. No one can. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of businesses today think it's all about profit. They've forgotten that if you take care of the American worker, the American worker takes care of their job. They're a part of a society, a nation. Today, you know, people just look at greed. They're selfish. And not all people, because there's a lot of good people in S Seattle who do turn around and take care of the poor. And, and from every uh, nationality that has come here. And it, it makes me proud to be part Mexican, that Mexicans take care of the poor of those who can't afford to eat. So it, that also hurts me that a lot of people in this nation don't want immigration because they don't want to allow those who are hardworking, who have raised their children here because they wanted what we all have to give our children a better chance in life. And it seems today that dream is shrinking. Why can't we grow it back? Why can't we allow other immigrants to come here and become American citizens, no matter what nationality they are, color, uh, slant of one's eyes you know it, it's what's in a person's heart and mind and if they come here like Ted Cruz's family came here for a better life for freedom to give their children more than what they had Ted Cruz and, and the Republican Party shouldn't be against it because if they are against it, they're a bunch of hypocrites. You know, we are a nation of immigrants. Unless you're an American Indian, you know, your family immigrated here. So, let's be fair. Let's love God. And let's do what God wants and, and to share, to do good works, to be fair, honest, law-abiding citizens, and not to put money or prestige ahead of what God has written down for us to do. You know, God doesn't judge us you know well God does judge us but he gives us a choice free will and a lot of people are failing when people are homeless in this country the richest country in the world when we can't give our children a college education and where that education no longer matters because the people on top only want theirs to stay on top. Well, that's not the American way. We need to take care of the people in this country. We need to open up our borders to people who want to, want to live by the same ideas that the Constitution of the United States guarantees every American, and it seems today that, you know, we're not getting it. Because I'm definitely not getting it. It's because of greed, a person being selfish and not caring 
and we should all care for our fellow man. So let us all this new year make a resolution to do the right thing in life, to take care of our fellow man. Because, you know, I, I, I know uh, what's that congressman's name, Ryan, Paul Ryan? If it wasn't for Social Security, he wouldn't have gone to college. So, you know, uh, it should be a Republican thing, too, for immigration, for education, for the American people, <coughs> instead of interest groups. What's your opinion? I like to know. <laughs>